everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. I decided to come on and do like a craft with me video. It's my day off. I've been working uh, six days a week. And um, anyway, the store is coming along beautifully. So I wanted to see if I can take some of these very simple buttons. Maybe not that one. That one, yeah. Maybe that one, that one. Definitely that one. Maybe that one. And this one. And try to get like this kind of effect on it. These were uh, gifted to me by Crafting with Isabel. And I thought maybe we can pull out some napkin scraps. And these are ones that I've worked with in the past. But I still have some of these little bits and pieces that I thought would... I don't know if it'll work, but we're going to give it a shot. And um, this is my silicone mat. I've been working on the journals for Rosie's Creative Wings, and I'm having so much fun with it. Um, so I think, I think what I want to do is just sew this. So this way it can have something to grab on. Not sure if I'm gonna do both sides, but we're gonna start with one side. And let's see. Oh, I'm gonna get gritty. Maybe I should grab. It's too late now, it's already on my hands. It's gonna get on everything. But the reason why I'm doing this is to kind of give the napkin and glue something to grip on and also to knock back some of this color so we will see if this works because I have some things in mind and as you can see I have quite a lot of buttons Loki says hello he's on neighborhood watch again at the window dry maybe I should I'm gonna edit out all the boring stuff okay be right back and it'll be dry and I'll do the other side all right so they are dry and I did both sides I did grab on uh, two more buttons because I had enough just so on the side to do two I'll put that one back away don't need that and I grab some Mod Podge, which is matte finish, and I get that from Dollar Tree, if you're interested. And let me grab a smaller brush, and let's see what scraps I have here. So, I know I want some of this green. I want it on the big button. Yeah, I think I want it on the big button. And these are one ply. I already pulled back the second layer. And remember with Mod Podging, you have to be gentle because it is napkin that we are uh, laying down and it can potentially tear. Okay, let's see if I thought this through well enough. to bring this down into the edge and I'm hoping that it will tear let's see if I can pick this up let's see let's see oh, Loki's on patrol heard something and he is on patrol so it's not tearing not yet. let's see there we go yes that's exactly what I was hoping I just needed to get it saturated enough for it to start breaking at that seam 
keep pushing and pushing down. Okay. I hope I'm in frame. Okay. I'm gonna saturate that a little more. You can see this is a very hands-on project, so if you're not really big on getting all gooey and gluey, this might not be for you. Just saying. <laughs> There's some glues that I can tolerate on my hands, not all of them. Okay, let's see, tear. So it looks like this is a delicate process, so I might just, after we do this one, I might just pause you and I'll do the rest off camera and then I can come and share my results with you. So I just want to give this a finished edge. So I'm going to turn it and make sure all of this is down on the inside. Okay. Got a nice coat. And then while it's still wet, I also want to make sure that I repuncture those holes. So I'm going to set this down. That's what it looks like so far. And I took my hole punch with my pokey tool over there to clean it. So now I'm just going to grab another one. And I'm just going to make a nice round hole. And all I'm doing is going around in circles so the edging can be nice and smooth and the hole uh, free of paper or napkin and glue. So. Okay, there's a thick layer of glue there. All right, so there we have it. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna do the rest of them and then we'll come back and see what I'm gonna do with them. All right, so I think they are all dry now. So that's this one. And I managed to get this one along the edge. That's the back. Here is the big one. This one I didn't manage to get on all the edges, so I'm gonna distress that one. Here is this one, which is the white button. I got a little pink on this one. And you can see the, the black. And I actually like that. Look at my ink that one different. Here's this one. This one is the browns. And here is this one in blue. And then the two little itty bitty ones. I will tell you these are fidgety. But I think they'll look cute in the project. So if you have the patience for it. All right, so now you're wondering why did I want to do that? So I pulled out just some random pieces of stuff and I also pulled out some bow pins that actually match these. So this is what inspired this thought. So I was thinking to add to my dangle, you could take a piece of fabric, you know, layer it up. And I think this one will match nicely with this bow pen and kind of loop it into the hole and then grab the fabric in the back. You can sew this, you can stitch it, you can even stitch it on if you don't have bow pins. And you will have a cute little addition on a dangle on the side of your journal. So if I had something here I can hook it onto whatever tassel that I have because I have collected quite a number of buttons and I need to use them. Uh, let's see, this I pulled out that red for that. Let me see. Oh, I have this one. So let's do something like, let's see, this one's in browns. So let's see. Let me use the gold. Now you can distress these, which I should do. 
and all I want to do is just really grab some of the color on the edge of the button just to kind of hide the seams doesn't have to be so predominant and this is matte finish I don't even think you can see it too much you can see it a little I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up plus I need to re-ink my my um, ink pad because it's old 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 and uh, it's been really doing a job so you can see a little bit of the distressing there and then maybe add this through the hole so I can hang Ooh, do I have my beads around I don't think I have my beads Sorry about the beach. No, I don't have my beads here. I put them all away. Or did I? No, I didn't. Let's see. I don't have my sea beads here. But I have these. And not these don't always work on those... Um, On the bow pins, it depends on the hole. Let me grab a green. Let's see. And I'm trying to stay in frame. Okay, see, sometimes it just stops. Okay, that's not going to work. But you guys get the idea, right? It's just about giving you ideas. And then maybe I want this. So I want to make sure I grab it through the material. And then maybe I want to add that in the background. And you can um, use a little bit of Fabri-Tac. Maybe a word. Let's see. That's the wrong color. Let's see. You can even add a piece of paper if you want it to. Let me see. I have a little bit of book page here. And let's do that. And let's just make this. Now at this point, I would probably definitely glue this. Uh, because the book page will tear off. Everything else might hang on, but the book page probably will tear off. Uh, and then this was the button I had. Maybe I should add a little green in the back and trim it down. Let's see. Let's see. We're playing, so let's see. I should have put my button first you guys didn't tell me anything oh I have been so tired um, but playing with paper keeps me happy and I always try to do a little something look at that Dangling off the side, maybe giving this a little haircut because it just seems awkward sticking out there on the side, and maybe cutting this at an angle. I need to sharpen my scissors. And look at that another cute little addition with an altered button. I like this. I can make these for days. <laughs> I really can. So we got two different versions there. Um, let's see. Maybe a simpler version. Maybe you don't want it with so many layers. So I have a red one. Let's do this. Maybe a double button. Ooh. Okay. Let's do this. So maybe this one, I want to attach it here on the side. 
and maybe not through that hole because it wants to lean that way I want it to lean the other way so let's go this way and then let's go in here okay like that let's give this a trim well before I give it a trim let me get a jump ring guys and I don't have my tools in with me here so bear with me I'm gonna try to do this with my hands if not I'm gonna have to pause you and I would probably go for a shorter jump ring but this is what I have so this is what I'm going to use just to demonstrate what you can do now if I can find the back second hole that would be nice All right, I think I'm going to have to get my tools because this is getting really fidgety. Let's see. Let's try this again. Maybe this time. Go through here first. Okay, here we go. All right, then we're going to grab the button and I want it to lay flat so I want the unfinished side on the inside and then I'm going to attempt to close this with no pliers let's see and then this is what it will look like way swing this down and around I guess it just wants to sit that way but you guys get the gist and then this can be trimmed down maybe a double jump ring let me pause you because I know I'm curious I gotta go get my pliers all right so I got my Dollar Tree pliers that I'm absolutely loving. And if you haven't seen that video, um, go check it out. Uh, but I absolutely love them. And I think what I'm going to do is close this one. Should put on my glasses. And I'm trying to do it the wrong way. Sorry guys, my hands are hurting me today. And I have really been using them these last week. And they're telling me so. You know what, I think I think I'm really putting this <laughs> jump ring through the ringer. That's what I think. I think I want to come up underneath. I think that's what my problem is. I want to come up underneath. Can you tell my hands are not cooperating? I don't know why. And I think now it'll sit a little better. Let me try with the button now. And then we're going to close this. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to stay in frame. As I mess with this jump ring that I've kind of put through the ringer. But... I think I'm liking it now. So there it is. Oh, that was fidgety. I had to think it through. I didn't think it through all the way. But there it is. Where there's a will, there's a way. 
So I work on those off camera and you'll see it in the thumbnail. Um, how they turned out and at the end of the video. But here's this one that we made together with a little bit of book page. I would suggest gluing all of this together to give to reinforce the entry so it doesn't tear. I mean the paper anyway. So we made that one and it's just lace with some of that mesh some book page and a spare um, ribbon with a decoupage button. This one we made uh, very simply with that speckled mesh, spare ribbon, and one of these wooden um, decorative buttons. And then this one that I fought with so much was just a piece of ruffle ribbon with one of those um, decorative button, um, butterfly buttons and then one of the buttons that we decoupaged attached to it and i like the way it sits underneath you can also dangle some other things off of there and what inspired this project was these buttons that i absolutely love but doesn't necessarily fit every project the colors might be a little off or the patterns and i knew i had um sample extra scraps of napkins that were fairly in the neutral colors or in popular colors that I craft with and I figured why not give it a shot and see how it turned out and I don't worry about the back because it is just sold and wherever I um, attach it will lay flat uh, same for this one and the same for this one so there you have it my friends I hope you give it a shot. I hope it inspires you to pull out your buttons. I'm pretty sure we all have quite a number of buttons. Um, not necessarily in the colors that we would like. So, um, decoupage some napkins on there, tissue paper, and uh, tailor it to fit the project that you need it for. All right, till the next craft with me. Take care now, and thank you for spending time with me. Bye-bye.